A dangerous and deadly drug quickly taken over on the streets of Southwest Florida. Heroin overdoses are taking more and more lives every day. And it's leading law enforcement agencies across our state to carry a drug that reverses a potentially deadly overdose. And even though there were more than 200 heroin overdoses last year in Southwest Florida, local officers are not carrying it. Point your corners, Lisa Greenberg investigating in tonight's special report. You know, I started partying when I was probably around 14 years old, just dabbling around and stuff. I didn't really have an addiction until uh, I turned about 21. My addiction went from pills to heroin, and everything got worse. Linda Brown says she never thought she'd turn to heroin. But when the pills became harder to find, she needed her fix. It just gets to a point that your body needs it, you know, and it's not even about being high anymore. It, it's just about waking up and, and not feeling, you know, dope sick and body aches and just, I don't miss it. <laughs> she doesn't miss it because she's been living without it. Linda hasn't touched heroin since 2014 when she overdosed. When I started coming to, you know, everybody's voices were kind of echoing around me and it wasn't a good feeling. That year, there were 121 heroin overdoses at Lee Memorial Health System. That number nearly doubling to 201 in 2015. It seems like almost every week I'm hearing of somebody else dying from it. Most recently, her friend Sadie Walters. It's hard, you know. Not everyone has a chance that I do. Not everyone makes it out. That's why some law enforcement agencies are arming themselves with an injection for heroin overdose. This is a, a long, hard fought battle that we've been working on for many years. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office was the first in Florida to use the auto injectors filled with a drug called naloxone. Now, this is the device that the officers use in training, but just like the real thing, it walks you through the entire process. Pull off red safety guard. First, you pull the red safety guard off. Place black and against outer thigh. Five, four, three, two, one. Injection complete. And the drugs are injected. Once injected, the drugs knock the heroin off the receptors inside your body. It's like reversing and then hitting the pause button on an overdose. But it's only temporary until you can get medical attention at a hospital. If you're deceased, you're deceased. But if you're in that window of severe respiratory depression, uh, this drug gives you a chance to, to uh, bring someone back that would otherwise not be saved. Paramedics in the state are required to carry the drug, and law enforcement agencies in Lee, Collier, and Charlotte have discussed it, but haven't made any decisions. Do you think this is something that law enforcement agencies should look into and others should start carrying? The drug-addicted individuals are our citizens as well, and we treat them with the same respect and dignity that we treat all citizens, and we would hope that uh, agencies would really look to just provide tools for their for their individuals to to help make a difference and save a life a life like linda's she's gotten a second chance one she says she won't risk by taking drugs she's been clean for nearly a year now for a long time i just accepted you know i'm an addict and this is it and um you know my life's not going to get any better but i've let go of that you know and i know my life can get better and i don't have to be using drugs lisa greenberg fox 4 in your corner. And again, all of our local law enforcement agencies in Lee, Collier, and Charlotte counties have discussed this but have not decided to carry naloxone. The Lee County Sheriff's Office says they are looking into this right now while they're in a training session, but they can't comment at this time. They did say to Lisa to check back once their training is complete.